Hey, it's me. Today we're going to look at some mobile game ads because there is just a fine art to them. I would know because I go to college and I'm an art major. So come, let's watch them. So this is a game called Project Makeover and I've seen a lot of these and these are just the weirdest ads I've ever seen. I'm just sitting there trying to play BitLife and all of a sudden I see like some girl that's covered in mud trying to get with this handsome guy that's already with a girl. But I guess you can just win them over with this looks. Uh, but you know this isn't the ad so we're gonna see. Already we see uh, some stank up in here and she's loving it. All she wants to do is just join them so that she can put her stank in, in front of her face. Fill her up, we have lives to save. Come on, let's move. I gotta go. What was that noise? Did you seriously just dent my van? Is that a fire? Put it out! There's not enough room for another person in this ambulance. <sighs> That's enough, I'm out of here. So we have a story that unfolds here. You have a paramedic that pulls up and you need to put gas into the ambulance. Well, apparently you have cataracts and you can't really put it in there. You can't put the gas pump into the ambulance. So she's done with it. You just set her ambulance on fire and she just drives off and the patient just falls back. Well, you messed up. You should have put that gas pump in there, you stupid idiot. If only it was that easy to climb the ranks. I don't know. I see a lot of these videos where it's like you're carrying a load on your back and you're supposed to use that to progress into the game. Um, there are like thousands of games like this uh, and I have played some of them. Uh, some of them are actually pretty fun. Um, but I don't know. It's like you're using all that uh, the Legos on your back and to climb up and none of them are being used like on your back. So I don't know. It just seems kind of unrealistic. Uh, you know, you, you didn't you didn't catch my attention. Hey, hey, hold on. What is this? Oh my, I'm tingling all over. Why this feels so good? Just a little bit down there. Better than anything seriously. Yes. That's the spot. Why would I never tried this before? Keep filling, don't stop, never stop. I've actually seen gameplay of this game and so far it looks pretty accurate. A lot of these ads they try to they try to show off their game and then it looks nothing like what the actual game is. Uh but I could just only imagine that somebody somebody from like the company was like, Hey, we need you to put your face in this avocado. Those were some pretty dank mobile game ads. But nothing is more amazing as Mafia City ads. Mafia City ads are just like a fine wine. There's just nothing like it. So, let's watch them. That's right, sir. We need that woman's man out of here because I want her. I win her over with my G mod dance.
let's go ahead and replay this look at this low level crook right here he's just gonna get dragged one arm out of here so easily that is a strong cop a level three crook uh you don't want to mess with him because he has his gang in the back and the officers apparently are just terrified of these people and can't do anything about it so i guess i'll just go into the school uh, if you got James Bond over here walking in, you, you better give me your money. That is your yearly salary, and you're going to give it all to James Bond. Uh-oh, baby. You have a suitcase full of money? Well, you better watch out for the level 10 hitman because he's just going to take that from you. So what happens whenever a hitman takes all your money? Well, you do what any other sensible man does. Don't call the cops. You just shoot up a bank and you become a level 15 boost. I don't understand either. But anyways, you get millions upon millions. And when you get millions, you have the hitman bowing at your feet, giving you all their money. Like I said, there's nothing like Mafia City. It is just like a fine wine. So unique. So tasteful. But we're not done yet. So, uh, uh, during this video, I had to leave to go do something. And while I was out, I decided to give me a green screen. So now we have this happening. So now we're going to be in the videos themselves. We're going to actually feel them. Um, and yeah, I know, like, right... Uh, right here like that's all like freaking out and like there's like an outline of me uh but i'm gonna try to fix that i haven't really set up the lights perfectly yet but this is the best i can do so let's get back to the video figured about slapping make sure you slap that like button as you can probably guess this is by the same company I don't see what the purpose is of just either undress or slap it's not really it doesn't really seem that fun uh, but it is quite hilarious I guess if you add moaning and slapping sounds See, this is what I don't get about Homescape ads. They never have anything to do with the actual game. It's like where other ads, they'll just like pull a uh, golden key and then like lava falls on, on gold and then you lose. And it's like download Homescape. It doesn't make any sense. Boss Life 3D, a game where if you don't give your employee a bathroom break, they're just gonna take a massive <laughs> shit all over your floor. <laughs> Here we have another Boss Life 3D ad where it's supposed to be like Dunder Mifflin from The Office and the one cussing right now is supposed to be Dwight and Jim just got his way yet again. Oh that Jim, he sure did get us. See this is exactly what I was just talking about earlier. Something about these golden like keys or whatever they are, you're supposed to pull them if you pull the wrong thing then like that guy just like apparently just dies but it has it's nothing what has to do with the game i don't understand why people make these ads yeah, i think like i've never really played the game but i've seen gameplay of it and i'm sure it's like about like renovating a house what does this have to do with renovating a house <laughs> uh -huh. 
I'm just sitting there trying to play bit life and all of a sudden I see like some girl that's covered in mud trying to get with this handsome guy. I see this the same ad all the time, but they just change different models of like girls who got ran over by a train, and uh, they do it. They do this this game and like a bunch of other games where they get the character and uh, the player like messes up how they look, like make them even look uglier, and then the player or the viewer is like supposed to be like, oh, I could do a whole lot better, so they just download the app and then play. And that's how they get their, uh, like, their players coming in. Man, that is the fastest spreading fire I've ever seen. You better pull those golden rods, because if you don't do it in time, this man and the dog will burn alive, all because of you. You're the reason why they died. It's your fault. <laughs> Here's another mobile game ad, Rise of Kingdoms. I absolutely adore these ads. Whenever you see a Rise of Kingdom ad, usually it's about how much power they have and like who can top who on power. And a lot of the ones that I see, it's like non-English speakers with like bad English dubbing and the lips don't match up and it's just all around terrible. But to me, it's amazing. So let's go ahead and play this clip. 50,000? That's just pathetic, man. You should take the next one. Hold the elevator! Yes, hold the elevator for this man. You and your wife's husband cannot even match the power of this man. You do what he says. You better hold that elevator. Ow! 20 million power? Teach me! Oh man! You chose the wrong civilization to begin with! Oh man! You chose the wrong civilization to begin with! You should have gone with the Vikings because they're more powerful! If you want the upper hand from the get-go, you can't go wrong with the Vikings. The increased capacity for collecting resources and the attack and counter-attack buff, when other beginning players are still farming, you'd be ready to invade. And when they're finally able to put together an army, you'd already be conquering cities with your Viking Berserkers, led by Commander Ragnar. <laughs> Good luck! No, no, let me, come on, come on. It's just as I predicted. Usually when it comes to the Rise of Kingdom ads, it, and it comes down to choosing civilization, apparently the Vikings just kick ass. If you don't choose the Vikings, then you, uh, you automatically lose. I think that's about enough mobile game ads for today. Uh, thank you for joining me on this journey. And I'm still trying to figure out the kinks of this uh, green screening. I'm new to this, so I'm trying to figure it out. Uh, but uh, thank you for joining me on this, and uh, I'll see you in the next video.